As we age, things aren't always what they used to be. One of these things in particular is our ability to achieve and maintain an erection. So when guys are having a little trouble staying up when they get down, they turn to the commonly used drug, Viagra. Hey everybody, I'm Mark Crater and this is the Science Faction Show. Welcome! Be sure to ask your science questions in the comments down below. Today we are looking at how Viagra works. Let's get right to the facts. Plenty of men can't get their noodles al dente. First off, it's important to understand the mechanisms behind erectile dysfunction and how, even though it's a problem associated with older age, it can happen to anybody. Almost half of men ages 75 and up will suffer from erectile dysfunction, but there is a small percentage that suffers below the age of 50. There's a huge variety of causes behind erectile dysfunction, all of which interfere with the way blood flows and grows the penis. Some of the things that would interfere with the process are damage to the arteries by heart disease or diabetes, high levels of anxiety, or even too much smoking or drinking which can irritate the blood vessels leading to the genitals. Now, in order to improve blood flow and keep things up the way they should, many people turn to Viagra. What Viagra does is beautifully simple. It increases blood flow to the penis. The method by which it does this is as follows. Viagra stops an enzyme called PDE5, which is responsible for helping the muscles around the base of the penis to constrict. Without PDE5 doing what it does, the muscles relax and allow more blood to flow freely when you are in a sexually aroused state. So, if Viagra really works that well, why should you be a little cautious before you take it? Well, like any drug, there are side effects. Side effects include dizziness, nausea, having sex with your husband, your husband saying, sorry, was that okay? And if your husband is over 70, nightmares. These may include dizziness, lots of peeing, disturbed vision, and nasal congestion. It is almost one of the most counterfeited drugs in the world, so always make sure you get it from your pharmacy, and not that sketchy classmate who promises his stuff is legit. It's interesting to note as well that Viagra has lots of other uses that are just now gaining traction. It might be able to help premature babies with poor blood circulation. It might be able to fight jet lag and may also be able to treat some heart diseases such as congestive heart failure. Not bad for the little blue pill we used to laugh about in health class. Oh, I'm rattling on, but if you don't vent your emotions, they just well up inside you and burst out. The harder you try, the harder it all gets. All right, that's it for me here at the Science Faction Show. Be sure to let me know what you want me to talk about next in the comment section down below. Also, be sure to like, subscribe, share with your friends, and also check out those two videos down there because they're awesome. We also have a ton of other great content on this channel, so be sure to check it out. And as always, stay geeky. Science!